Welcome to how to add the CI and asset management fields to the Remedy Force client form. In this video, we'll be adding fields to the client form and also the user form in Salesforce and enabling asset management in the Remedy Force CMDB. So what this does is it allow, depending on what settings you're setting, allow clients or staff to update CIs and assets in the Remedy Force CMDB from the various UIs and access points. To do that, we assign the client form to the user to a user's profile, which allows the clients to be edited from the Remedy Force UI. And then we add a CI and asset management field to the main panel field set, allows access from the Remedy Force UI. And then we'll make sure asset management is enabled in the CMDB. First thing we want to do is we want to assign the client form to a profile. So go to Remedy Force Administration, select Application Settings, Form Assignment, select the form to assign client, assign form with field set, select the desired profile, uh, either admin or staff profile, and move them over to the right box. Click Save. Okay, once that's done, you want to click Configure CMDB, General CMDB Settings. And we want to make sure that enable IT asset management and enable configuration item management are checked and then click save. Next we go into Salesforce. And so right click setup, open a new tab and under customize we go to users and under users we go to field sets. Click edit by the main panel field set. From the field palette drag and drop asset management view and CI management view onto the form. Click Save. Once the record is saved, clients can now be granted access to CIs and asset management. So we click Manage Users, click Clients. From this UI you can only update Remedy Force clients. Staff can't be updated from here. So let's either create or click on an existing client. We'll pick an existing one since we're already here and make sure the asset management view and CI management view fields are on the form and then grant the appropriate uh, permissions to the client. And I would recommend making them both the same unless you're really into the CMDB and you have a specific reason for making them different. This avoids confusion so once that's done click Save. Now we go into the Salesforce UI and we want to update the user page layout for the regular users so staff and admins can be modified. So I'll just go directly to my record as an example. Go to your username, click My Settings, click Personal, Advanced User Details, and then scroll down to the Remedy Force section. If you don't see all the fields on the form, you can scroll up to the top and you click Edit Layout, or you can click Sidebar Menu on the right and click Edit Layout. And then what we want to do is add those the missing field to the BMC service desk section. So in this case we'll drop in CI, which is already on there, uh, but in a different place. So we'll move and put these together. And the asset management view is already there. So we'll go ahead and click save. Now we click edit on the user record. And then select the appropriate permissions for admins. I usually give them update and delete and update and delete. For staff I would recommend update unless they really understand what's going on in the CMDB. Don't forget to click save. Any user record now can be modified from the Salesforce UI. Uh, if you just want to work with clients or you want to limit a person's access you can have them use the, cell, the Remedy Force UI and update from there. Um, so we'll just open up a, a regular staff user and staff and then we'll click edit and we'll grant that user read-only access to the CMDB this concludes how to add the CI and asset management fields to the Remedy Force client form